when they asked us, okay, where is your knowledge level? And straight up was, I totally am on board. I'm 100% get this. I'm kind of, and I'm, I was like, I'm gonna be honest. I'm right here at the beginning. For any teacher who's gonna bring their students out, it is invaluable if, if they come on a teacher training trip. You know better what's gonna happen on the trip. Uh, and then you can start kind of enticing your students and, and anticipation is often half the fun. That's the mummy chog. Goop up like So if we start talking about mummy chogs in the classroom and then they come out here and wow, voila, you have a mummy chogs. Teachers gain not only a valuable baseline understanding of the workings of the watershed and its living creatures, but also some real world techniques for integrating environmental science into the core subject areas of language arts, math, and social studies. <laughs> Ho! 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 It's been an incredible opportunity for me, and it's a real gift for me. I feel like I'm on vacation and inspired at the same time. There's a plethora of materials, uh, and their passion for the environment, the passion for the future of the children that we deal with is intense. And they're always giving us ideas about things. It's really nice to watch others and learn from them. They have all uh, shared something that I will take and use as a teacher. Fresh caught from the Chesapeake Bay. Whether you're teaching seventh grade or taking seventh grade, it's hard to miss the signs of an environment at risk. Upstream and down, traditions and livelihoods, born of a once healthy and productive watershed, are now threatened. Participants in the CBF program confront these tough issues and wonder about their own roles in shaping the Bay's future. They're gonna be learning a lot from me now. I can promise you that. But more than anything else, I want them at the end of the unit to say, what can we do to help? You can't submerge yourself in, in the natural environment and not take that and um, cherish it because you've been able to experience it. So when you go back to the city and you get caught up in the fast-paced life there, you can remember and know that there's other places even my little 10-year-olds really understand the bay and their connection to it by the time they've finished with one of these trips. Last night we were out at, you know, maybe an hour before sunset, and those guys... The more knowledge you can give a child, the better choices they can make. These children have taken this information home. They've acted on it. They're taking shorter showers. They're turning the lights off on their parents. I believe in my heart of hearts that they do turn out to be better citizens when they get older, that they do develop that sense of stewardship. Oh, got the soft track. That was in its shell oh, yeah. probably a half hour. Woo! I've never had one student that comes back that hadn't been changed in some way. We all went through that mud, and there's a, a true sense of accomplishment on the other side of that. Oh, thank you. Yeah.